thank you for joining us this morning. I'm, I'm going to just give you a brief overview of how things are going to work, and then I'm going to hand you over to our Managing Director, John Charles, who's going to tell you a little bit more about a uh, little journey that our business has been on for the last four months. What we've had to do within the building is look at how can we get people in to the building safely. And the, the only way we could see that was changing the whole way uh, we run our admissions. So most people, two thirds of people, normally just turn up. Whereas now, everybody has to up a line. And we've had to reduce our capacity for safety um, to one third of what it normally is. So people would book, are going to book in sessions, um, and we then have a maximum number of people within the water park, which is half the other number of people. We've got lots of safety provision online, let people know what we're doing, but also as you come to the water park, you'll, you'll see on the windows various uh, safety messages, also social distancing on the floors. So the social distancing on the floors is where you're queuing, so on the slides, you need to social distance. But other areas, key to the left, and also just be aware of your surroundings. Those of you that have brought swimwear, um, we'll get everything fired up in the water park. We'll take some on-ride footage, some shots of the work, we'll have everything in action. But once you get into the water, you know, chlorine in the water, you know, that will kill your COVID. It's all over all of our slides, so it's your really good, safe place to be. We've also increased our ventilation within the building, bringing in a lot more fresh air. That's going to cost us more, um, you know, obviously, you know, with gas, um, you know, heat being uh, pumped out of the building to get fresh air in. But, you know, that's just something that we need to do, you know, just to make sure people you know, are you know, kept safe. We're so delighted to be in this position where we're ready to go, uh, or we're good to go, for our visit, visit uh, England's concern. Uh, and we're just so looking forward to welcoming all the guests. And some of us are also looking forward to doing a bit of uh, water slide testing as well. You know, that's one of the good things about you know, my job, you know, my job description at the bottom, you know, chief water slide tester. So.
Sandcastle Water Park is reopening on the 25th of July. The safety of our staff and guests is always our number one priority. Hand sanitisation stations are available throughout the water park for our guests and team members to use. At reception, protective screens have been fitted and we encourage guests to use contactless payment and our splash cash facility. For more information, please see our website. Our changing rooms have been converted into one communal changing village. We've added new cubicles with doubles for families and singles for individuals. We have an enhanced cleaning regime in place. Our changing village is constantly cleaned and maintained by our team members. Social distancing will be in operation throughout our water park and this is clearly marked by the signage and floor markers in place. To ensure social distancing, we've had to change the way we operate. We'll now operate daily session times and these will be three hours in duration. There are morning and afternoon sessions available, details of which can be found on our website. Please remember, if you have any symptoms of COVID-19, please do not book to visit Sandcastle Water Park. Please contact NHS 111 and seek medical advice immediately.